It was one of the most difficult morning commutes we've had in a long time. Slide offs, crashes, and traffic just creeping along. It's now 6 o'clock, and the commute home tonight not nearly as bad. But we know the roads are starting to get slick again because we have freezing temperatures, and we could see a repeat tomorrow morning. Right now, we've already got dozens of closing activities tonight, and we have them listed for you on the bottom of your screen. You can also get them online, and we could see school delays come morning. This morning, there was confusion when some IPS schools delayed and then canceled, while others stayed open. Rich Van Wyk is getting answers as to why. Rich? John, it was a confusing, confusing and frustrating morning. You can see behind me here, traffic moving pretty well. Much, much better going home than the ride to work this morning. Here's what we saw this morning when we were out. Roads looked more like ice skating rinks. Freezing rain and a little bit of snow caused tie-ups, slide-offs, and delays. Some of them lasted more than an hour. While all this was going on, scores of the city's salt trucks were parked. DPW Director Dan Parker admits they were blindsided by the freezing rain. The weather service they pay for predicted above freezing temperatures and dry weather. Instead of getting ahead of the storm, 80 trucks didn't hit the streets until after the rush hour was well underway. It was a confusing morning for IPS students, teachers, and parents. Some schools, like Harshman Middle School on the Near East Side, opened up for students. A pretty typical day. Well, right next door, the elementary school was closed all day long. No students, no teacher. The morning started with the schools opening on time. Then administrators decided they needed a two-hour delay. Then they decided IPS should cancel school after many of the students were already on their way or already in class. During the course of monitoring the weather and monitoring the road conditions, we determined that neither of those two things were going to improve and they were creating a very dangerous situation. Carrie Black went on to say that for kids who came to school, it was a pretty typical day. Thankfully, they're home, they're safe, everything's done for the day. We'll see what happens tomorrow morning. I'm going to be back in about 10 minutes, and we're going to go way back 40 years ago. Know what happened 40 years ago? You probably remember the blizzard of 78. It's been that long ago. We're going to go back in the archives, see what lessons the city learned, and also some of the people who stepped up and prevented a blizzard from becoming a catastrophe.